my youtube account got hacked for the second time this time it was very serious such that the hacker got access to my gmail account logged me out of almost all my sessions and was controlling my account my gmail and then my youtube in this video i'm going to share my experience of what happened how it happened and how i got my youtube and gmail accounts back within two days and how you can also protect yourself so that you don't fall for such tricks and this is coming up Hi everybody, my name is Innocent and I'm a content creator. I mostly make Photoshop tutorials and drone videos, but this video has become necessary because it can happen to almost everyone, especially if you are a content creator. All right, so I'm not really going to go into details on how these whole things happen, but I'm going to explain some of the technical things that you need to know about such techniques that hackers use to hack our accounts first of all i got contacted by a random person on twitter that i should go check out their games i'm not the type of person that normally plays games but i just out of curiosity i wanted to check it out you should understand that this person affiliated themselves to a particular brand that is quite legit they are verified on twitter and it's quite a big company their website is legit so i probably thought that it was kind of legit so he reached out to me and then he said he was not going to send me anything on twitter instead he is going to actually email me some files so that i would check out if i'm interested in checking out the games then i would get back to them now understand that in most cases people reach out to you with a direct link so that anytime you click on it they are going to get access to your account but this time around they didn't come that way they used a different approach so i later received the files in my email these files were in a zip file on like google drive so i downloaded the files now because i was being very careful about this whole situation i didn't download the files through my actual gmail account so i copied the link and opened it in another gmail so it's opening on another google drive for me i didn't download it straight from my actual google account so i downloaded the files it was a zip file and then i decided to open it to check what's inside the files when i opened the files i saw two files a video game and then another pdf which basically was talking about the video game so i wanted to read what was in the pdf and to my surprise i opened the pdf and it just flashed on my machine like just a flash nothing happened and then i opened the video game quickly my windows defender alerted me that there is a virus and that was when i realized that i had most likely clicked on a wrong file what i did at that point was i quickly deleted a zip file but unknown to me i should have changed my password which i didn't and in the space of five minutes i received a notification from gmail that i have been signed out of my gmail at that point i became very scared because almost everything is connected to my gmail like almost everything my twitter my instagram handles my social media handles my contacts a couple of pictures almost everything is connected to that gmail so when i got signed out i quickly tried to sign in and i also received a notification on my recovery email that the recovery email has been changed so within a space of five minutes what the hacker did was he removed my recovery email changed the password and set a new recovery email to his site and a new way of signing in so that i won't be able to sign in into my account now you probably may have heard that this has happened to a couple of people but upon researching i came to realize that this type of hacking is called session hacking so the question you ask yourself is what is a session hack or a session hacking session hacking is basically where a hacker gets access to your session your session is basically what connects you to your client server so in layman's term your browsing history this includes your history your cookies and then your cache so the malware that they planted in the zip file will basically send your session to them which contains a unique id and they would be able to log in from their point as though you are logging in now let me explain this further if you sign in into your gmail account from your computer if i'm logging in into my phone or my computer currently google is not going to ask me for two-step verification why because the first time that i provided a two-step verification i told google that 
remember this device so anytime i'm signing in again i wouldn't have to provide the two-step verification on the other hand if i'm logging in from a different machine from a different location i would have to provide a two-step verification because the machine is new so once the hacker gets your session or your browsing history your cookies your cash everything sent to them they are able to log in into your account as though you are logging in without google asking them to provide a two-step verification and this was a very smart move so at that point i didn't have anything to do than to contact the team on youtube so i quickly went to twitter thank god they didn't temper with any of my other accounts because like i was saying almost all of them are connected to my gmail so once they got access to it they could have accessed any other social media but they didn't i believe that they only wanted the youtube account because it has quite some subscribers and they wanted to use it to live stream their whatever they wanted to do so i reached out to the team on youtube and told them that my account has been compromised they sent me a message and then gave me directives on how to go about it now if something of this should happen to you the first thing you need to do like i did reach out to youtube and then they are going to ask you to provide an email that you currently have access to they are going to give you further instructions on how to recover your gmail and you can use that to further recover your youtube i must say that the team at youtube and gmail was very kind enough that they did all of this within two business days so they sent me a form to fill and they sent me an email that confirms that my account has been hijacked hacked or compromised and then we took the conversation from there so basically that was what transpired between me and the hacker and that was how they got access to my gmail account and further to my youtube account now when they hacked the accounts they were basically just live streaming they privated all my videos i must say that nothing of my videos was tempered with no video was deleted whatsoever but what should you do if something of this sort should happen to you the first thing and this is from the little research that i did when my account actually got hacked the first thing that you need to do is once you sense that you've clicked on a zip file or any file that contains probably a malware or a phishing whatever that will send your session that will send your information to the hacker at that point you are in a race with them first thing you need to do is change your password now if you change your password what this is going to do is that the session will be sent to the hacker all right but they may not have the current password because it will not be included in the first section that was sent if the hacker gets into your account before you at that point you've lost the risk but if you're able to change your password before the hacker actually is able to access your account then you win another thing that you need to do is you need to get rid of your browsing history so if you are using google chrome for instance you can go to the three dots at the top right click on it and then click on more tools and then you can go to clear browsing history at that point what it is going to do is that it is going to sign you out of almost everything all your devices and if the hacker tries to use your session to log in they may not actually succeed because that session that was sent to them has been logged out and it is not currently running so these are the two most important things that you can do once you figure out that you've clicked on a link or a file that probably leads to a session hack like what happened to me also in case the hacker gets ahead of you gets your youtube or your gmail hacked compromised and sign you out you just need to calm down reach out to the team on youtube and then they are going to help you with whatever steps that you need to take next now you must also understand that you need to answer some important questions about your gmail accounts which i can't disclose in this video but it is very important and it's related to your gmail account you should be able to answer all of them or most of them correctly in order for gmail to help you out get your gmail back and further get your youtube account back all right so that was what happened i believe that i made a mistake and i accepted my mistake and i'm hoping this will not happen again but this strategy was well crafted the hacker knew that if he had sent a link to me direct in my gmail or my email i was not going to respond to that so that was why he had to start all of this conversation so we just have to be careful out there and this can happen to everyone it doesn't matter how big or small you are this can happen to everyone so we just need to be careful out there and make sure that some of these things are not happening and if it happens 
you just need to share your process you just need to share your story with others because it was until after this also happened that i realized that something very similar also happened to someone about two months ago now the last thing you need to do is after you've gotten your account back of course change all your passwords so your two-step verification might probably be turned off so you need to turn them on and then you just need to make sure that you stay safe out there avoid links i've advised myself all right so remember to be vigilant and stay safe online avoid as many links as you can and avoid downloading so many things that you don't know or you don't trust the source i hope my story helps you so that you don't fall into a victim and i hope you stay safe out on the internet i want to say a very big thank you to everybody that supported that helped me retweet tag the youtube team on twitter and on tiktok i really appreciate the support and everyone who called in or tested me to check up i really appreciate it thank you so much we are back and we are going to do it much better i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye